How's it going, Dazzlers? Welcome back to Daz Games on the Sims Sunday, which is uh, on a Monday today because I just got back from London late last night and uh, from Legends of Gaming, and I didn't have time to record this episode. And I didn't want to rush this episode out. I didn't want to um, make it crappy because it's a very important episode. Because if you watched the last one, you'd realise that first unexpectedly. Uh, died. She was fiddling around with this thing up here, which is like an outside stereo, which I'm now going to get rid of because I don't trust it around other sims. She was repairing it and she got electrocuted and she died, which I can't believe. Uh, and here is where she died. It left a gravestone and... I'm gonna leave that there for a while until I figure out like what to do like it was so sudden that it happened and she was the first child of nipples and summer out of all the triplets and she, she's the first to go as well and everyone's pretty sad about it as you can see like every sim in the house young Jake is asleep and Everyone is just really sad, obviously. Like, Lara and Tits, they've just lost their sister. And Amir, actually, as well. He, he's only just come back in from outside from crying. Like, he is very sad as well. It's, it's a tragedy, you know? It really is a tragedy. I was... I, when I stopped recording, I was, like, so shocked that this sim that has been so popular in this series is just gone like that. Now a lot of you guys, oh, as you can see, like Tits is not happy at all with the situation and you can't blame her. It's her sister. <laughs> and she's going to be like this for a while. She's always had, you know, trouble controlling her emotions as it is. But um yeah, that's going to be the status quo in this house. And yeah, so a lot of you guys were saying that Okay, Daz, it's time to get the Ambrosia out and resurrect her. But I decided not to do that because when we did that with Nipples, when we brought back Nipples, it changed him somehow. He came back as a different sim. Like, his evil side really came out. And I really don't want that to be the case with first. I don't really want to bring her back from the dead and she's different and she's evil and you know I just want to leave it as it is. What happened happened and there's nothing really we can do about that. She's just dead which is <laughs> it's kind of hard you know to accept but we're gonna push forward. This is The Sims and things like this have happened before and uh, right now Amir and Lara are talking everyone is just so down like this is gonna be a very down episode I feel like there's not gonna be that much happiness going on but um, we're gonna try and push through it as we see tits is crying over oh, nipples yeah. and summer's urns I mean she's probably missing her parents right now wishing they were here because her sister's gone it's uh it, the whole thing just sucks you know so, there is an empty house now. One of these houses. This was First's house right here on the far right. And in the in-between, this is like Lara and Amir's home with their son Jake and Tits is on the end. So, I really, I don't really know what to do about this house. Like, this, this property. Like, should I keep it? Should I move one of the Sims into it? Or should I bulldoze it down? I mean, what do I really do? I really feel like I should move Tits into this house as she always comes here. She likes this house. This was the first house I built alongside the original house, if you remember, that stood here. So I think that I might move her into this and just get rid of her house because she never really uses it. I may as well just bulldoze it uh, and earn the money off of it, I guess. He's going to be cooking some burgers. Trying to cheer himself up. Oh, hot dogs. Okay. I'm feeling that. Oh, come on, Tits! I'll tell you what, why don't you call someone to come round? That'll, that'll help you. Alright. Brianna will be right over. Brianna is our maid, but oh, she's sad as well. I guess she's heard the news about first. 
All right, so she's here now, and she's gonna come in and you know give Tits a bit of well-needed company. Like she's uh, very sad. She just needs someone to talk to. Let's like help her vent. Oh, man. Everyone is so sad, including Brienne. So this is what Tits really needed. It's just someone to come round and like. I can't wait to see if these guys are gonna move in together because they're so perfect. Like. They get on really well. Probably the we only maid I've one. hired in the Sim the series, tab. which actually doesn't Excuse turn out to be me. a nightmare. <laughs> Gorsoy. All right, we've cheered her up. Neither She's not uh, no longer sad. Maybe she can help Sigluna us now. Ask to move in. Shall we do that? I'm still a bit. I like her. I want her to move in. We're going to ask her to move in with us. We don't really need to be alone right now. Or maybe it's going to come across desperate because we're sad. I don't know. I just don't know if it's going to come across that... I mean, we haven't even got married or anything. We've been together. Yeah. Alright, we've got a new sim joining the household now. Not replacing first. But she's now joining the household. And she's going to live with uh, tits. And we're going to see how it goes. We're going to see if they get on and what it's like living together as girlfriends. You know? A lot of people move in nowadays before getting married. You know, it's, uh, it's not exactly uncommon. And I think they get along just well, and I really think that Tits needs someone in her life. And now we have control oh, of Miss Brienne. Flina. So, Shall Tits, it? now I'm going to, like, make her take control uh, or claim a bed in this house because this is uh, where she's now going to sleep. And I've got Brianna to claim the bed as well. So they now own this bedroom. They'll come here to sleep. And, I don't know, I guess I'll get rid of this end house, because it's never really been used that much. And we can, like, get the money from it, I guess. Just going to eat something. So, welcome to the household, Brianne. Welcome to the Sims. You are no longer our maid, which is probably a good point. I should probably get a new maid. So, yeah, as you can see, I got rid of the outside stereo. I don't want that, you know, basically to happen to any other Sims. <laughs> Like, have you noticed, like, I don't have any fireplaces in the home because of all the tragedies that have happened in the past. So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to bulldoze this lot. Okay, so there we go. We've now got the two houses on the lot. Uh, I've sorted out the fencing and stuff. So there's no need now, really, for, like, a third house. Um, if I see a need for a third house for some reason, I'll just build it again. But, um, yeah, we got a lot more money now. We're, like, nearly got half a million which is um, very wealthy indeed. And yeah, so now it's down to the two houses. We've got, oh no, look, see, electronics. <laughs> I, I, from now, I'm not doing this from now on. I'm literally going to just click replace. No electronics will ever be repaired by one of my sims again. I do not trust the game with their lives. You can shower in your own home. This is the confusion, is they'll select something else in another house. And not their own house. Jake has been asleep for a long time. I'm kind of worried about him, actually, because he hasn't even woken up. He hasn't literally woken up to, like, brush his teeth or eat. or He's just sleeping. I think, I think he's kind of traumatized by the whole thing. All right. So, Lara's, uh, it looks like she's coming around uh, to use our toilet because her son, Jake, is on that toilet. Which is understandable. You know, she needs to come around. She's always welcome in this home. With, um... Oh, look, there's another thing that needs repairing. I'm just going to replace that. I don't know if they can... Oh, no, don't repair it yourself. You'll, you'll die. But if they could slip on it and... <laughs> crack their head, I don't know. Like, I don't trust repairs now. Jake is in the shower. And then he's going to go get himself something to eat. I think he's going to have some oatmeal. I love oatmeal. Do you guys love oatmeal? Because I do. Brianna's on the internet, feeling confident. She's not as sad as the other guys, because I guess she wasn't really close to first. She did start off as our maid, so we can let that one slide. Nibirth? Nibirth, yeah, boy, indeed. Yeah. Lara is still getting into bed crying. What is Amir doing? He's been asleep for ages. <laughs> Wake up, oh. Amir. Have a shower, oh. Jesus. Oh. I notice that when they're sad in their morning that they tend to sleep a lot more. So Tits is outside right now with uh, young Jake just having a chat, you know, she's keeping herself talking. I think she's happy that Brianne has moved into the house and uh, we've got another sim to control now and that's great, you know. 
It's not, like I say, replacing first so much. It's just more of, you know, it's kind of like when you lose a pet. You have to replace a pet because otherwise it's one extra thing missing from the house. Like a presence sort of thing. If that made any sense at all. <laughs> Polino. Oh, oh look at these guys hugging. Oh, oh man, I don't know if they're going to get over this. This is terrible. Tetch, you need to go to the toilet ASAP. Don't repair anything whilst you're gone. I can't lose you as well. I'm so scared now of what might happen. And he is coming out here now. And, oh, it looks like he's going to go on the step and slide. Maybe he's going to try and cheer things up around here. The only problem is, is when he's sliding down that way, he's sliding towards first gravestone. <laughs> Uh, I really feel like I should maybe move this, like put it somewhere a little bit more respectful. Like maybe here in the flowers, like that could be cool. Oh, we can't go outside the boundaries, okay. Um, I guess we can put it over here in the flowers. Oh, it's turned into an urn. Now that I've moved it, it's turned into an urn, okay. Well, I guess then... The best thing really to do is, I mean, that was a nice fault and all, but let's maybe put it with her mum and dad. And this could be something that we can do, like, when a sim dies. Okay, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get all the urns down because now there's three of them. They all can't fit on this bar place. So I'm going to get rid of the bar thing and I'm going to buy some sort of table. Or something to put these on, and I guess we'll collect them as the Sims in the family die. And I guess it's just a way of like paying respects to them in some way. Okay, and there we go. So what we got here now is we've got the new table, and on the end there we got nipples. In the middle there we got first, who just passed away, and now we got summer there on the left. So they can all be respected now and I, I'll just save them up when you know they die because I am planning on carrying on through the generations like Jake is the next generation of this family like he'll carry on the family name uh, uh -huh. this, is, this is really good how we've done this and managed to maintain this family through the generations all the way from big boobs if you can go back that far in the sim series it started with big and I hope it just never ends. The thing is, if all of them just die, all of a sudden, like, my god, can you imagine that? Like, I, I don't think anything like that exists in The Sims. I really hope not, because I can't lose them all. I have to keep them going. I don't know what's in Jake's future, to be honest. I mean, the, we got the restaurant and stuff. The restaurant really um, isn't going so well, I don't think. I think I have to, like, close it at night or something. I'm going to do more research into the restaurant, because... I'm losing money a lot, and I, I know that where I'm making a few mistakes. So I've got a few things to do to the nipples of summer. Um, I, what I should no do is rename this restaurant to the first nipples of summer. <laughs> and, uh, like, kind of pay a little bit more respect to first's memory. Um, let me know what you guys think about that. As Jake goes and sits down and watches some TV with his dad. And he's auntie's girlfriend. Oh, oh they're talking about death. Scuma. What's he doing? Jake is playing Tetris on his phone. I didn't know you could play games on your phone. He's too young to have a phone. What's going on? So things are moving along steadily and nicely. Uh, no tits. Come on, pick that up. Come on. Clean it. Clean it up. And um, we're just all trying to move on right now. And until they get over this sadness, until they've stopped mourning, this is just going to be what it's like uh, in the Sims household until they get over this, this tragedy, of which, let's face it, it's not exactly easy to get over. Brianna's moved in, and she seems lovely. She's good to tits, um, who is still very sad, as well as Lara. You know, she is very sad herself. Uh, I think she's taken it the hardest, to be honest. As you can see, she's not happy at all. She's now going to bed to be sad. But, um, we'll just have to see how it goes and all try to pull together.